we're live streaming. <laughs> we're live. <laughs> Sorry. Whenever the live on Facebook button pops up, it just always startles me for some reason. But good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. Yay! All right. Tonight, we're going to have four teams of performers perform for you uh, and then have a headliner, which will be announced in just a minute. But before we get anything else, let me go through a few uh, things about our jam once I find the share screen button. All right. Hopefully everyone can see that. Again, there's a long form improv jam. We're here every, every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Pacific. So thank you for joining us. Uh, the jam format, when you when everyone came in, they got put on to a either a non-musical or musical team based on their preference. Uh, the teams are being shuffled up in that, and there'll be two teams, two musical, two non-musical, that they'll be performing. And um, each of them will be performing a montage, which is a 15-minute set. Uh, total jam time goal is for two hours. The way, since we're doing improv on Zoom, that we, we transition between sets or between, sorry, between scenes within a, uh, a set is to do a sweep edit. And by that, to that, we normally just say, have someone come on screen and say, sweep. So if everyone can come on screen real quick here and just do that sweeping motion with me. Sweep. 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 I'm done, Pardo. <laughs> you can also oh, tag out someone by simply saying, you know, tag out a name. Usually it's easier to say the person's real name uh, like tag out Faustino. Ah. <laughs> the person you tag out would turn off their camera. You come on. Other people in the scene with, with them would continue the, as the same characters, but you would now be in either a different time or you, you know, however you want to do it. Um, at the two minute warning, uh, whoever is designated timekeeper for that round will put their camera up on screen and show the time to let you know that you have two minutes left. If you're in a musical scene, Try to get to a song pretty quickly because we always like ending on a song. Uh, and but it won't necessarily. It, it's we try to, to cut it a good place. It's not just a blackout there. But um, if you're not on in that scene though, we ask that you mute audio and video from the audience. Um, if you're uh, playing in that in that group, uh, sometimes people turn the audio on. It's always good to hear a little bit of laughter. So that's up to you. Just note that if you uh, are loud or something, you may get muted. If you don't realize you're not, not muted in that, it's nothing personal. We just are just trying to make it the best uh, for everyone who's watching. Uh, to make it sure you can see everything, uh, if you click on the upper right corner in your Zoom, there's a thing that says hide non-video participants. I'm pretty sure this screen has changed many times since we took the screenshot, but uh, it's still, still there. And that basically makes, instead of like, if you were seeing a bunch of blank screens with just people's names, those all go away if their cameras are off. So this is, if you're hiding on participants uh, and you'll just see a bunch of blank screens, if not. We are streaming on Facebook. Um, share the video around, but this is a note warning for everyone. You should have gotten a little pop-up saying that we're streaming earlier. But we do ask that because this is a jam is open to people from all over the world and different levels of experience that, uh, and comfort levels and that, we, we do ask you avoid some cert, some topics. Um, we try to avoid political COVID-19 humor if we possible, religion, spirituality, blue humor, stalking, social dis economic disadvantage, cursing. Um, these are sensitive. They're not banned, but the, we just, it's, you don't have to do them. And it's, you know, it just makes it a little more comfortable for everyone. We do have a few banned topics. Uh, no flashing each other, no jokes about rape and kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, racism, sexism, other isms, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, mental illness, or anything that makes the person's identity the butt of the joke. These are examples, not an exhaustive list, um, but just as a warning to, to please stay away from these topics. If there is something that happens during the scene that you're not comfortable with, or you think has violated the jam guidelines, everyone is uh, can call a timeout. All you need to do is just pop on screen, say timeout, violates jam guidelines, move on to the next scene, and everything gets edited. Uh, the volunteers and the hosts will be watching the sets as well. So um, everyone in, is empowered to do a timeout. But if you don't feel comfortable with coming out to read and doing that, please message any of us who are listed as hosts or co-hosts, and the volunteers will take care of it for you as well. Uh, because we're on Zoom, we recommend try and make it so one person is speaking at a time because Zoom will cut off after a couple of people. Uh, 
don't be rude to each other. Use your actual face. So don't you can use puppet snap, but please keep it next to you as opposed to replacing you. We want we want to see you. Um, we improvise music. Don't worry about the lag. Uh, just listen for the MD, and it will take care of you. Uh, Faustino is extremely uh, experienced at this point. And uh, if you haven't been up there, please jump in. And if there's someone you know hasn't gone out there, pull them in. Uh, but once you see the timer warning, make sure you get up there because that's going to be the last scene. But then have fun. Everyone's here just for a good time, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this jam. At the end, uh, after our future a troop plays, we will have a group game and then announce the future troop for next week, as well as in some feedback networking and our uh, famous whiteboard that no one on Facebook gets to ever see. <laughs> Join us next time if you want to know what that's all about. Uh, but spread the word. Facebook Live, Twitch, word of mouth, although we're not actually on Twitch, but, you know, hey, tell people there anyway. We'll, they'll find us. But this week, I'm excited. Our featured troupe is Solitaire, live from Portland, Oregon, where Nick Condon will be doing a solo musical improv with Faustino on the key of, keys. They are both live at the same location in Portland. Yay! 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 This is super exciting. He's a beautiful man! <laughs> oh man, they're both beautiful men. And that's it. So with that, uh, let us bring up uh, the host for team one, who is clearly someone that I remember their name. Hello, Brian, it's me. It's Angel? It's Angel. Yes, hey. yes, I'm already here. Brian, thank you. Yay. So the time has come to know our first team of the evening, the first non-musical team. And we will have the timekeeper, Michael A. He will inform Ooh. you when you'll have only two minutes left. And he's ready, Michael. Yes. And now on the team, we will have Michael Candelaria from Manila. Yeah, Michael, you can come here to the screen. We'll have also Kevin Wilcox from Brooklyn. New York. We will have Michael Prokorski from San Diego, GP De Silva from Toronto, we'll have Greg the Wild from Berkeley, and Faustino Solis from uh, today he is in Portland, Oregon. Good luck, Team One. Woo! Woo! This is Team One, and uh, I'm also giving a shout out because I'm being selfish. So my 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 family's watching me do this in reverse. Oh. Uh, yep. So, what is an awkward thing that you've had to do recently in reverse? Uh, watch a sex scene with my mom. Oh, I, I heard alto <laughs> saxophone. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's not what I heard. I... <laughs> alto, alto saxophone today. What are they? What do they hear? Is, is it about a saxophone or is it about a different thing than that? I think it's about sex. Sex? Is that the. Am I allowed to say that? Like, concentrate, man. Concentrate, man. She's been in your head this whole time. I, I will. I was just watching it. My mom was there. I didn't know. Game of Thrones is a book, good book. People like it. Re repent, man. It's just a book. You have to live in reality a little bit, don't you? It's a book. It's a book, but it's it's got it. They don't, you know, they have a rating system for movies, and it goes up to like R. They don't tell you like the Fountainhead. Have you read that book? I mean, it's it's way way worse than R. I read it in high school. I. I don't know where the system comes from. You're stalling, man. You're stalling. What do you think is really going on here? Is it a thing that you're involving with your mother? Or is it something from your repressed childhood? Is this something because you tried to rob a bank the other day? Or is it because you love the Teletubby? Spit it out, man. Spit it out. It's definitely not anything related to a bank or its alleged robbery. I can assure you of that, officer. Well, can, you, can you walk in a straight line for me, please? Uh, 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 tag out both of you and bring on somebody else at the bank. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, I don't know if I believe that you've actually been um, robbed. Uh, did it happen before? Well, it might have happened before, but I don't know if I believe that you've been um, robbed. I mean, the vault's been blasted off the hinges, but that could have just been water damage. 
That's exactly what it was. We we needed to save on money. I, I know we're a bank and that doesn't make sense, but it's true. All of it. So you made up a robbery for the insurance money. For exactly. God's it's uh, We saw it in a movie and we figured it, so it could work out in real life. I don't even know what the punishment is for this. Yeah, uh, sir, is there anything else I could do for you? Uh, I see you're depositing some change. Yes, I do. I run oh. an entirely change-based business here. Okay. These are all pennies. And sweet. Now, son. Yes, father. I have something I've yes. been wanting to tell you. <clears throat> Yes. I've been yes, both father. of your parents this entire time. You've been both of my parents? Yes. Yes, I... Yes. Have you ever wondered just how much your mother and father look the same? I was supposed to be your mother right now, but I've only now realized I forgot to put on the wig. D Dad, Mom? This... I've never, I've never, I've never seen you. I've never seen my parents kiss, and this is why it occurs. It, Freeze! Yeah. Everybody, get in here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dad Mom Convention, where all of us here in this room are both a mother and a father, both metaphorically and technically. Um, but we're all accepting <laughs> of people's uh, beliefs and biologies, and uh, we'll start passing around the talking stick. Who would like to be the first Dad Mom to speak today? <laughs> I, I'd like to say that, uh, oh, thank you. I, I, hey, everyone. Uh, first time uh, uh, speaking here. Long time mother-father combination. Uh, I, I want to say I, one thing I love about being a mother-father is uh, taking advantage of the fact that Mother's Day, Father's Day, I, I get two gifts a year just for that. It's awesome. Yes, that's uh, the one thing about mom dad is that we take care, we take advantage of the capitalist society by getting both a mother's and a father's day. Uh, tough break for everybody. Um, hi, um, I'm, uh, I'm Jeremy. Um, I, I used to sing uh, a, a boy girl, boy girl duets, and uh, but then. Uh, the kids came and uh, it was it was downslide from there. We so, cut to that. We were watching him doing a live concert performance of he him. Hey yo. Hey. I'm I'm, I'm just dancing to your wonderful music. Um, yes, Elmer. Person. Did you like it? A Amber, you know my name. I, uh, I, I, I really Elmer, you're my son. come to your concert as well. But I guess it's only me. Wait, wait. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. I, I try to be supportive. And I, I know you like to sing. Thank you. Um, were you were you going to continue? I, I can I can continue dancing. Or, or... tag out, Greg. Now your singing here as a duo was yes. slightly above average, but. You know, the fact that you played both parts in a duet, we just had a man on before you who is every part of a full chorus. So I'm afraid that for me and the rest of the judges here on America's Got Talent, it's gonna to have to be a no. Me and the other okay. four judges are also displeased. Are we all displeased? We're shaking our heads no. We're shaking our heads no. We are not displeased. Oh. We, are, we are displeased. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yes. Listen to Howie. But I do have some good news for you. 
you get to leave the yes. stage. I lied. That's all. That's the only news I have. What can I say? I'm Simon Cowell. I'm a jerk. It's my whole raison okay. d'etre. Fine. Wait. Here are 28 V-neck white shirts, sir. Oh, thank you so much. These will be so nice. I won't have to worry about out. I'm a matching these because they're all the same shade of white. It's wonderful. Now, unfortunately, because uh, we're based off of an honor system of lost and found, unfortunately, we lost one of your shirts. So one of the white V-necks is actually an eggshell white. Eggshell white? I, is there a problem, sir? I have nothing that matches an eggshell white. What am I supposed to do with it? Sir, I've got this eggshell, uh, I mean, this non-eggshell white. Where did, I, I've got this, this yes. perfectly white, non-eggshell white shirt that somehow I got accidentally. I was hoping to get. Oh. The eggshell. Wow, I would love to trade. That would be so helpful. Oh, you, you have an eggshell. Goodness, this is for the world. I oh. heard. I I absolutely. I found these uh these ultra bleached khaki shoes on the side of the road, and I'm gonna put them on this counter right here. Ultra bleached khaki shoes, because that's a thing. What? Well, like, we supposed to do something with these? I feel We're, like you I, just put those there, assuming that like somebody wants those. It's weird. Supposed to is a strong word. I'm just. Well, I feel like maybe I lost. A... Maybe I lost. I got Michael. What? Oh, tag out Michael. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, hello, sir. I, I heard you have that uh, white off-white uh, shirt for uh, mom dads. I I do. Fortunately, I got the. It, it, there's a mix-up. It's going to be like a totally white and not eggshell off-white, but we got the right one. It, it should be both, just like I'm both a mom and dad. Well, goodness, you're right. It's a both egg and white. I, I did it wrong again. Court uh, is now in session. This person has been vendoring uh, unisex, non-unisex shirts um, to people on the street in a specific non-white uh, eggshell. How do you plead your case, sir? Or ma'am, I I really tried to get it right with the eggshell and the. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I he didn't even try. Nope. The trying is all I'm arguing for. Is is the trying? I agree. Sir, the do you understand? Do you understand that the V and a V neck for both a mom and a dad are very specific types of V's? I. You cannot I, assume that one will match the other and vice versa. I tried to not assume said. that. I was all about the non-assumption of that. And yet I ended, it was not entirely, this wasn't even the color that I got originally. They gave me a different color. I had to fight even for the eggshell color that I have. Ugh, eggshell. You're being sentenced to 20 to life, sir. We oh, cut to a jail it. cell. Then two years. I feel like the next time somebody sends me on an errand to get a shirt that's like both egg and white together, I'm gonna like get that shirt exactly as they specify. Yeah, the white color is confusing. It did practically the same. I can't even, like I didn't even know that I had the wrong color at first. I, I just heard that they had the wrong, I figured I had the one that they were missing. What are you in for? I got confused with the color blue, you know? How could you get confused with the color? It's so, it's such a distinctive color. What was the, what was the confusion? There's cyan and there's, there's uh, I got confused with cyan and uh, bluer than blue. Oh, well, you those know? are pretty much the same color now that you mention it. Oh, that, oh, they're, they're the same? I mean, I think there's a difference. I think one has, more green in it. I've heard, but I mean, you know, some people's eyes, they can, they can tell the cyan from the bluer than blue. Tag out both, bring in somebody else. 
Now, I just have to say, being able to tell Cyan from Blue, that is a talent. I, Simon Cowell, am going to hit the golden buzzer for you. You're going straight to the finals. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know I had to spend so many years learning how to differentiate colors. And it's inspiring because I was actually born colorblind. So it's actually harder. Amazing. Liar. Liar. He can't do it. He says he can distinguish the two, but I think that he is doing a trick. A trick. A a trick. He's making it seem as though he can tell the difference. Um, Well, Heidi, if you want to vote no, you can. I will vote no. I'm sorry. I didn't know what Howie had that he was going to bring in. But, Heidi, if you want to vote no, you can. But I've already hit the golden buzzer. Uh, my name is Randy Jackson, and I have the bomb kit that can only be cut, and all the wires are different shades of blue. And this bomb's going to go off in about, apparently, two minutes. This is the time that you must prove okay. your Oh, ability. boy. So, wait a minute. So, wait. So, which is the correct wire to cut? Blue. We're counting on you. This is golden such buzzer. An amazing coincidence. Oh. Can't save us. Stop. It's, it's the bluer than blue wire. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, God. That was I, so good. No, you're going to cut the wrong wire. It's more like a Marshall Navy blue. Okay. Hmm. Anyone else want to chime in? I think. That, okay. Can I take back my golden buzzer? Yeah, I think you can. Well, it That's may not a, matter in you, a second, but show. clip. Huh. We survived. Stopped. Three golden Stopped. buzzers. Stopped. All right. Well, congratulations. The finals are going to be you, that man who could impersonate an entire chorus, and oh. also a uh, a little girl who can uh, do that that one that thing where she moves just one eye. Uh, we should celebrate with that one person singing both the him and the her parts. Ready, set, go. Who the hell was that? I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm trying to. Is there a song that has. Sha la 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 la. My oh my. The music. It's just a girl. Oh well, la 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 la. Don't be la 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 shy. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Come on, everyone. Give him, come on, give him waves or claps and thank you, Team One. And before we get our next team out. I just want to let everyone know that if, if you've enjoyed, you know, coming to jam all these weeks and Laura, you're still here, but it's good to see you, but thank you. Uh, and if you want to take like a little part of the jam home with you, you can, because we have an Etsy store where we have mugs and t-shirts and I'm sure people who will pop on screen right now. Now I will uh, share this as soon as I find what I did with that window because I have too many windows. Thank you for, nope, that is a breakout room button, not the share screen button. You're seeing behind the, 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 the curtain here. Here we go. So we have an Etsy store. It is Etsy.com slash CA slash shop slash Intercity Improv. T-shirts, mugs, feel free to get whatever you'd like. Uh, from what I gather, Faustino loses like two cents on every sales because of the, all the fees. So Support ish inner city, but uh, they are you know, good mugs to have. But now let us get to our next team for the night, our first musical team, and accompanying them, of course, on the keys will be Faustino Solis, our MD, our founder. Give him some love. Uh, as our second team host comes on screen, because I am looking for who it is. Oh, I so wanted to just wait until you said it. But, it yeah. is Michael W. <laughs> this is what we call preparation. Woo! Woo! Take it away, Michael. <laughs> hey, 
Everyone, I'm host for team number two, the first musical team of the night. And the timekeeper for this team is Laura Zorro. So definitely keep an Woo! eye out for her, her, her at the two minute mark. And on team two tonight, we have Dawn Robertson of Corpus Christi, Texas. Joy Ross of Manila in the Philippines. Laura hey. Todd of Toronto, Canada. Angel Canez of Sevilla, Spain, and yay, yay. Nick Condon of Portland, Oregon. Woo! 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 Two for tonight. Uh, joy, uh, Joy, you are also here if you're there somewhere. Yay. Woo! Woo! Hey, so are we getting a get? Okay. Get. So I was watching something. <laughs> And I was like, I thought for the longest of time, pretty much my whole childhood, that he was Canadian. And I was bragging and correcting people about the fact that Stephen King was Canadian until they Googled it and disproved me wrong. And it's like, why would I want to claim that much darkness in Canada? But <laughs> that's what I did. What's something that you want to claim? Disneyland. Disneyland. We're going to claim Disneyland. That's our Ooh. suggestion. Thank you. Thank you. Get your rides, just line up, get your rides. We're open, we're finally open. Some of the lockdown procedures have come down. So now feel free to drive. Now you can ride the teacups as much as you want. Hey, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so excited. I've, I've been wanting to ride the teacups since I was five years old and I first heard about the teacups. And um, you know, like I, I used to drink tea with my mom. And even as a small child, I would try to sit in the teacups which even as a five-year-old, I was much too large to fit inside of a teacup because they're very small. But now I get to be in a teacup. That's great, little boy. Wait a second. You're not a little boy, are you? I am 35 years old. Hmm. Hmm. You know, my restriction is supposed to be here, but I don't want to stand in between anybody else's dreams. In fact, I get probably fired since this is a place that makes dreams come true. We're going to put you on. Come right on. I am at least this tall. Maybe taller. Which means I can go on this ride. You are. I'm not going to look. I'll sit uncomfortably close. Few people I've never met before. Of you as a single. And we'll spin. Spin around, we'll spin. Oh, it hasn't, I haven't turned the on switch yet. Inside, I'm spinning from the very beginning. I'm spinning inside with love. Really? Love for teacups. Love teacups. I'm so glad to be here on this little journey. We all wish we could live our childhood. Now you can. I hope you have fun as you whirl, whirl, whirl. And hope you didn't drink a smoothie. Cause then you'd hurl, hurl, ride the TV cups. cups. Ride the TV cups. I can't wait to ride and spin. I feel like this is where life begins here on the teacups. Tea here on the teacups. Here on the teacups. Tea Get ready. One, two, three, go. Wait a second. Are we transforming? It looks like we're flying. Oh my gosh, this has never happened before. Where are we going? Sweep. <laughs> <sighs> oh. 
Oh my god, we are lost Disney princesses. <laughs> <sighs> oh, will my prince ever come? Where is he? Where is he? Where are they? Never found us. We are lost here. <laughs> Maybe the birdies can tell us. Yeah, the birdies. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that wasn't very nice! Or maybe... The spirit... Yeah. The spirit... <laughs> the spirit of the tree, sister! Yeah, yeah. the spirit of the tree! Who goes to speak to me? Are we all allowed to hear the spirit of the tree? Of course! Oh, oh my god! It's coming! You've got one simple thing. So tell me what you want, my grant wishes. Tell me what you want. We want to find love. We want to bring charming. I want my prince to save me. Uh, you might be able to just find you a date. Would you be happy with that? We want to my prince. We are special. Wow, how yes. standard. You want princes? We want a new future. What these princes should look like then. He's sweet. A prince to come and save me from this castle that I've been stuck in. I was promised a prince, someone strong and handsome who'll sweep me away. What about the rest of you? I thought I wanted a prince to be special in someone's eyes. I thought it was the ice or the earth or something above. And now I realize we are good as we are. We can go much more far without the man. We have the sand, the sea, the sky. We can be as we are. What about you, Team Jesus? What do you want? Well, I want a man that will be true, that will never leave when this after came. He will be a leader that will be me to a place that we dream. Nice. Yo, keep on going, keep on going. Oh, I dream of him and I'm excited to stop with him. I love you. Okay. I hear you. Now I need you to hear me too. Listen very closely. You've got to do something for me. To get those princes and that non-prince that you said you were a feminist, but that's okay. You're still part of this quest. Please find on this park a scroll. A scroll that has an incantation. It's hidden underneath the teacups. If you find that scroll, then you will get your prince. So go! You're on a quest. Find that scroll. We are coming! Oh. Is that it right there? There are so many scrolls. Me too. Wow. Yeah. No, you yeah. got the deep voice. 
You're going to have to look further. <laughs> you thought this was going to be easy. I, I want the birds back. The tree. Tree. Bro. Bro. Man. Oh, bro. Whew. Bro. You know what? Like, I really thought putting down that I am Prince Charming on my dating profile would make Ooh. chicks hit it all the time. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, Charlie. That's the best thing. Oh my god, I see all these ladies around you right now. <laughs> So, you're thinking it, it works, right? Like, you think thinking, like, that was not a bad choice? Mm, that's, that's amazing. But in order to be that person, you need to change your look, Charlie, okay? I need to change my look. Yeah, yeah, you are very old-fashioned now, you know? Now, to be a prince, it's something like you need to, to do hip-hop, you need to rap, you need, you know, these kind of things. Like, in modern world? Okay, like, maybe I could, like, try, like, okay, like a beret or something, like that. Ooh. Like that, that. Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. If you put now some fashion clouds, like a t-shirt, like, with a sunset and, uh, like, uh, some letters and numbers, you know. I'm sorry. I heard so much. I heard t-shirt and letters and numbers in Sunset, and I don't know where that, like, you, you know what, like, I'm just, I'm just trying to, like, impress, you know, the ladies. Yeah, Charlie, you know, no, that, that's, it's already a problem, because when you say ladies, it's like any lady, and which is your Lady, you know, the one. You start by one, and then, then maybe you you'll go discovering others. Okay. Yeah. One. Which is my lady? Your lady. Somewhere there's a lady that wants a prince charming. Somewhere. There's a lady that won't find me weirdly alarming because I'm kind of a lot sometimes. Sometimes I'm a bit much. I don't know what to do about that other than just try to chill. What do you think about that? Charlie, you must open your heart, you must be brave and go far and far away, Charlie, you're a good boy, now you have to be a good man, and the woman will be there for you, but search for her, her. Um. Excuse me, I got lost. I just arrived here in the room. Come on, Charlie, come on. Welcome. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Allow me to greet you and welcome you. Thank you for the welcome. Could I buy you a latte? Sure, I would love to. They have different coffees and several different choices of milk. Okay, I want a Baracco. You know that? No. But I'm sure. You know, that Charlie, you know. I mean, <laughs> happy to get you whatever you want. Okay, I'd love to. You look so handsome and so kind. 
I'm so sincere. I want to know you more. And be your friend. Let's get to know each other over coffee. Coffee is the bridge. Oh my god, I want to be invited for the marriage. Good work, Charlie. But Charlie. Thank you so much. Let's cut to the other princess and her prince. <laughs> Hey there, sexy lady. I, I, you're not my prince. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm part of the cartoon filmography. Come on. What cartoon? What? Uh, I mean, I'm part of the whole enchanted world. I am a prince. I'm a prince of the Trek world. If you notice, I am a troll prince. Yeah, and exactly. You're a troll and I'm a princess and princesses just don't date trolls. Are you kidding me? Are you showing some sort of prejudice in this time of Me Too and, 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 and Life Matters? Oh, so we're going to go all anti-feminist on me. I see. Well, not anti-feminist. I mean, because you're a very beautiful woman and I, of course, am a robust, robust troll. Troll? Sorry, I farted. Oh, I've got some more gas. And scene. Yay! Team two. Woo! All those beats. All right. So this is normally in the jam where we would do a sketch. We don't have one tonight, and I just sprang this on the rest of the volunteers. I'm gonna try something new. Yeah, um, do something new. Brian's a beautiful man. Woo! All right. I'm calling this <laughs> the wisdom of the Michaels. We have a lot of Michaels here. So if your name is Michael or you have that Michael energy, come on screen. <laughs> I have an uncle, Michael. Good enough. All right. So I've got we're gonna, energy. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be able to see so these are the, these all these Michaels are amazingly they know everything and they can answer any question you have one word at a time and since we're not numbered this is going to be super fun to try if it works so can someone just in the chat or over ask a question that you'd like these Michaels to answer what happens after we die oh what happens after we die so Michaels just one word at a time shout it out and just take turns because we're not numbered. So this will be fun. Cats. Prom. All. All of them. Uh, the world is burning. <laughs> Hats from all over the world is burning. I mean, ugh, crazy. Uh, do you have another question real quick for these Michaels? Uh, yep. Who's your favorite Michael celebrity? There are there aren't as many Michaels as there are Chris's, but who's your favorite? My favorite is Michael Keaton. Yeah. <laughs> no, Michael Keaton, Batman, and uh, Michael Jordan. Hey, I'm from Chicago. Gotta love Michael Jordan. So let's get let's have one last question for these Michaels before we go to team three. Oh, what's your mic? Oh, sorry, say yeah, sing them, sing the national Michael anthem. <laughs> oh, oh, say can you, Michael? We are Michaels indeed. We might be Michaels. Michael, we're all Michael. Michael's Michaels. When I have some Michael, I like to say the word Michael. Michael's great. Michael. And I can't stop thinking about Michael. I don't know the rest of the song. But I am named Michael. Michael B. Jordan. Michael. Michael. Thank you. Michael, Michael in the Jordan. bathroom. Thank you, Michaels. Woo. You're very welcome, everyone. Excellent. But now, with that silliness out of the way, let's go on to team three. And this time I'm prepared that Laura is going to introduce them. Uh, oh. 
Oh, sorry. I meant to turn off my camera. Sorry. And I, Adam I, will get I, off I, screen. Oh, no. Wait, okay. was that Laura? No. Okay. So, um, I am introducing now Team 3. Could I please have Cassie Effort from Tucson, Arizona? Tanya Odesho from Santa Cruz, California. Hey. Michael A. from San Bruno, California. Ooh. Adam Grodner from New York City. Yeah, yeah. Mindy ooh, ooh. Valentine from Mendocino, again, California. Hey, yo. And Alex Taylor from Miami, Florida. Ooh. And our timekeeper for this evening for this team is Nelson Morgan. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good luck, team two. Three. Uh, can we get a suggestion to get us started? Yeah. Uh, what was that thing? Uh, t toilet kittens. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that thing? Toilet, toilet kittens. Toilet, toilet, toilet kittens. kittens. Thank you, toilet kittens. Thank you. Shayna, Gizmo, and Riley, yeah. you have to get out of my toilet. Kittens aren't supposed to be in toilets. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, don't. You know what? If, if you're gonna if you're gonna pump up your hair everywhere, do it in the toilet. God bless. I like living in the toilet. Uh, please. You can talk. Yeah, wow. I'm a cat. We can all talk. <laughs> Were you guys not at the meeting? We all talk. We can Wait, talk. I, 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 I gotta process this. I gotta, I gotta get the hell out of here. Thank God he left. I know, this toilet's so cool. What kind of human asshole tells a cat what to do? Get you it? You said asshole and toilet. Asshole and toilet. I like that. Uh, cut yeah. to the meeting. Cut to the meeting. That happened. Hi. This is the meeting, right? Yeah. <laughs> Big Caddy, what's up? Uh, hey. Ah. <laughs> all right. We could stop with all the uh, the roaring and stuff, but. We can actually, we can speak English now. In front of humans, right? In front of everything. Treats, treats, treats. Hey guys, I got treats, I got treats. Oh, I know you guys aren't plotting to kill me in here about how you're all secretly intelligent. Cause I got treats, treats, treats. <laughs> you are the treats. <laughs> 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 Okay, second order of business. Is, I right. tasted good. We don't only speak English to humans, we kill them. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> this is no a very productive rules. meeting. <laughs> third, third order. You know, I gotta say, we are really cool cats. Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. yes, we are. If I had thumbs, I'd snap. You can just go like this. Oh, I like that. Yeah. This is the best part about being a cat, <laughs> like scratching people. Cat scratch fever. <gasps> cat scratch fever. Oh. Mm, 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 Dancing. Mm. Hey, I hear music coming from my cat's room. <gasps> oh, you guys can sing and dance. We're going to make a billion dollars. Boo boo, we can do anything. There's, yeah, I we can do anything. If we want to. Yeah. I can juggle. I'm taking my phone out. I've got a graduate degree. <gasps> oh, no one cares about those. I can perform <laughs> medicine. Mm. She's really good. Uh, and I eat humans. All right, yes, he does. Said juggling that'll do excellent on the TikTok. Thank okay. you. I already have an account. <laughs> okay, flash forward to the everyone being TikTok stars. Oh, 
Well, no. we, well no. gang, you're all eating live imported tuna straight from Japan because we made so much monies on the TikTok. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to my TikTok. Just letting you know, like and subscribe. I also have an Instagram. It's called. <laughs> and if my maid could come yeah. in here, please. Okay. That's what maid, it's called. I'm ringing the bell. Oh, yes. oh, oh my goodness. Um, sir, I am highly allergic to cats. That's why I don't usually come when Chad, you have Chad, the Chad. cats out. I'm sorry. Chad, Chad. Oh. oh my god. Oh my I, god. I, I I have to fire you. You have to fire me? You you're gonna pick cats over a human? Wow. Oh. Every oh. time. Look at us. There's hair. They're very cute. I would love to touch one of them, but I'm telling you, all the hair everywhere, it's it's just I'm getting hives. All right. Oh, how unfortunate for you. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh tag in. Cassie at the unemployment office. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm telling you, you're everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you were let go from your last job because yes. you're allergic? Cats are following me everywhere. Yes, they're, yes, they're right. See, sir, they're right here. They're everywhere. I'm telling you, I'm not crazy. Oh, D Detective Ashovitz. I'm telling you that I'm glad you're taking such good notes, Detective, because this seems like a problem. There could be a kitty world order. Thank you so about. much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I want to make sure that everything is in order and that um, we also have to make sure that we give people who are allergic to cats hey. enough Benadryl hey. to knock them off. There's yeah. another cat sneaking over there. What? Exactly, they're everywhere around me, and wow. I am oh. highly allergic. I've taken oh no, they're three gonna poop in my shoes. <gasps> I don't want them to poop in my shoes. Oh, oh. I don't want them to spit hairballs on my face. I, I heard I, if they, they, I, they bring you a lizard, it's it's good luck. That's I what think, I've heard. You know, some folk might pay good money to have hairballs spit in their face. No judgments. You can yeah. put it on eBay. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. I, I just want to get my benefits, you guys. I, I know I've, I, I, I really need like twice as much money as I was making. So I just want to make sure I'm still going to get my benefits um, to cover my Benadryl cost. Well, listen, listen, Miss Maid, we're going to send you to the moon. The moon? Oh. There's no cats on the moon. That would be I've great. Already, I've already booked your flight. We found oh. a hotel called uh, Non-Cat, Non-Cat Cool, Cooler. It's got a bar oh, in there too. Know. So right. yeah, you'll be fine. I heard the room the, the moon is super romantic too. I I, right. I can't thank cut you. To, cut cut to Cassie on the moon. <laughs> Welcome to the moon. Oh hi. Here's our complimentary enclosed oh. container of cookies, because otherwise oh, thank you. chocolate oh. chips would just get everywhere. It's nice that they sent such a nice looking man to give. If there's me anything cookies. I can do to make your stay better, just let me oh. know. I'll be over no. here. Don't Just go anywhere. one second, ma'am. We oh. have to scan you to make sure you're not a cat. Oh. We need to keep the feline menace off the moon. I, I promise you I'm definitely not a cat. <laughs> ma'am, that means that? you are secretly a cat. Oh, I, I, I probably brought a lot of cat hair with me on my luggage. But I have good news for you. Uh-huh. We're cats too. I'm gonna need a blood test from you, by the way. Yes. And the cat moon? Oh Cassie, my gosh. Miss Maid, we've been experimenting for millennia to create the perfect human feline hybrid to infiltrate oh. the moon, and it is you. It is it's me? Miss wow. Fancy Maid. Yes. Why do you think your name is just Maid as opposed to an actual name? Well, I, I always cat. I, I did wonder that, you know, the, the, I'm, I'm just curious, like, about the hybridness. Um, just curious how that happened when I, was I sleeping? Uh, no. Well, if we you're, told you're, you, we'd have to kill you. Oh, well, then, I definitely don't want to know then. But <laughs> instead, we could take you to your queendom. Oh, where you're well, the feline you. queen. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I wipe to uh, Cassie on her throne as 
<laughs> the feline queen or something. Meow, 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 on the moon, I'm not alerted to any of you because apparently I'm part of you now. So this is uh this is beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Oh, here's some, here's some treats. Here you go. Here's some treats. Catnip. Catnip. Why treats. does Cassie get the throne? I was next in line. Oh. Uh, you just answered oh. yourself. You're next in line. Yeah, you're next in line. I'm I'm so I was killer. next in line before Cassie. Oh. You were before in line. Yeah, Cassie, get the now. hell out of here! Oh no! <sighs> Hack me. Well, leave so I can that. take over. All right, why okay, can Big have Cat it. is now the king of everything. Meow, 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 meow. I like this. This is. I like the music. This. This feels good. Oh, I, uh. let, let me let me oh. clean let me clean you, Your Highness. Uh oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Slippers. Um, we do slippers, Your Highness. I'm... Can we go in the back while you do yeah, that? Yeah. Lick. Uh, ooh, oh, Lick. oh, oh, Lick. Wait, hey, hey. Oh, all right, this is hey. this is too graphic wow. for my oh, eyes. Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. Woo. Um. Here's your here's your dog slippers. I I thought you might like that. They're a little bit different. Dog. Oh. <laughs> well, they're fake dog. You know, oh, they're, this... they're stuffed dog. Hey, I got a I got a pizza delivery order for um King Almighty Meow Meow. King Almighty. That's what the right? receipt says. Who's this for? Anchovies is anchovies. Yeah, yeah, we got anchovies. We also have a extra bag of anchovies for you. Stay away from my king! Oh my god. Sir, I must inspect the anchovies to make it's sure my... they're not poisoned by the but it's my pizza. Collector. Dude, I'm just trying to give him pizza. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure, Mr. Delivery Person, you would love to play with this ball, wouldn't you? No. Oh, no, Delivery just, Person I, passed the test. I'm it's just not a, a dog. I'm Go just ahead, a, sir. I'm Eat. just a pizza delivery guy. Oh. I'm just, I just deliver pizza. Throw the ball again. <laughs> throw the, throw the red, throw the red ball. <laughs> Go get him! Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Me! Me! A dog! A dog! My king! Panic! Wait! So sorry, you were. Meow. And then there were none. Wow, it's nice having my normal desk job back. This is great. I love this. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. You know, I was watching. I was watching that whole moon fiasco. Looks like it's quite a thing going on up there. Yeah, I heard. Um, so I just wanted to ask if you were able to um, finish filing everything for oh, me. Yes. Yes. In fact, I stayed even later last night. Oh. Hey, oh. Margaret. Hey, Tammy. Hi. Hi. Um, those Hi, forms Tam. I need tomorrow. I uh -huh. needed them yesterday. Oh. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Time has inverted upon itself. We're all going to oh. die. And I'm shriveling into a skeleton. And you know, we got whatever that meant. We that just gotta random. make sure we get the we gotta make sure that we have the files ready. And I'm the assistant manager, so it's up to you. Yeah. Well, of course. You know, it's a, it's so random that our coworker shows up and shrivels away. Um I know. Not a normal Tuesday. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Like, is that guy our manager or just like the Grim Reaper? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, that was a bad one. You know, I, oh. I I heard that like when the Grim Reaper comes, it's mm -hmm. not long that it's your 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 time. I mean, you see the time before your time. So yeah. Oh. yeah. No, that's really oh. fascinating. Oh. Hell? Oh. Interesting music they're piping in today. Ding wow. dong. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh. Must be pizza. I ordered pizza. Oh, you did? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, uh, ladies, uh, oh. the Grim Reaper is here to take your eternal souls to the next realm. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> I'll leave you be. Oh, no. I'm not, excuse oh, wait me. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm, I'm not ready. Your souls upward, not I'm not ready for this meeting. I wasn't given the email. Oh, it, excuse oh. me. It's not the Grim Reaper. It's the Jolly Reaper. He's moving oh. you all up. 
Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, come on yeah. in. Yeah, come on in. You have time for me now, huh? Of course. Yeah. Oh, because we always we... have time for you. Yeah. Oh, you do. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just I just want to make sure because you know I'm important. Yeah. Well, by the way, I I have some homemade cookies for you. By the way, I know that you're going to appreciate these. Oh, and thank I'm. You. I brought some tequila. Oh, no, 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 no tequila for me. Thank you. Well, those are Bavarian right. chocolate too, by the way. They aren't or for me. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't do. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Mm. That's good. Um, let me, uh, Reaper, uh, Reaper, can you, um, I'm going to just take one Reaper up with me. Um, oh, oh, I'll oh. take the girl with the tequila. Yes, you take the girl oh. with the tequila. Oh, would you also like tequila. some cookies? Someone doesn't know how to have fun at work. I mean, this is Reaper. Would you like some cookies for the road? Because these are Bavarian chocolate. No, mm. I want the oh. tequila. Uh, oh. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Oh. Um, I just want both Reapers to know that my dad is a senior management vice Reaper. So you know, I mean, just oh. you know, hey, oh. you know, if, a cat. If, if you need a secretary. Oh, there's another cat in our building. Oh. Come with us, Adam. Come with us, Tanya. Come with me. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Definitely. I will go with you in there. Oh my God, give Sane. me my scene back. Sane. Sane. <laughs> Sane. Oh, Sane. 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 Team three. Woo. Excellent job. All right. Before we get to team four, let me just do a quick thing to show you what we have coming up. In interstate improv over the next uh, few weeks and months. Uh, as soon as I find where, why do I? Wait, I was presenting this. I know I was. Sorry. Uh, what's on the menu? So we have a number of things coming up. As you know right now, we are in the inner city long form improv jam every Sunday night, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, every Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific, we have Toast and Jam, which is uh, similar to this a little bit, except that uh, instead of just doing one set, you do three different sets in smaller groups. Uh, it's not streamed, and it's just a chance to get some more reps in and uh, have a little uh, fun with a different group of people. We have a short-form jam. It has moved to being uh, monthly rather than bi-weekly, so the next one will be July 13th. Uh, 6 p.m. Pacific on, on Tuesday. So if you're interested in doing some short form, please come back then. The Musical Improv Jam is on hiatus for the summer. We just, because of scheduling and conflicts and that right now, uh, we're gonna be figuring out how we're doing going forward. But at least for now, the short form jam, or the, sorry, the musical jam that had been on Sundays is on hiatus uh, for at least the next couple of months. We do have an open mic bi-weekly on Mondays. Uh, the next one is actually tomorrow, June 14th at 6 p.m. Pacific. If you're interested in doing five minutes of stand-up, uh, improv, whatever you want, music, uh, please find the Google form and sign up. As I mentioned earlier, we have a Met workshop. And we also have a community. So you can search for Inner City Improv Community on Facebook and join our, uh, our private group where you can promote your shows, talk to people, and just have some conversation outside of the jams. We need teams and sketches. If you have a guest, Troop that would like to play or sketch or meet or know a musical director who might want to play with us or more jammers, let us let us know. Just reach out to us. You can message the Inner City uh, Facebook page and one of our volunteers will get back to you. And that is it. So without further ado, let us get on to our final team for the evening, our second musical team. And to introduce us, it is, of course, uh, Dawn. I am introducing the four. So when I call your name, please pop up on the screen. We have Andy Fay from Manila, Philippines. Nelson Morgan from Oklahoma. Woo! Katie Williams from Ontario, California. Yay! Mara Zaro from San Francisco, California. Woo woo woo! Ryan Stebby from Wheaton, Illinois. Hello, everyone. When the weather gets like this, I get hot. What is something that makes you cold? 
Being rejected. Ice cubes. I heard being rejected. Oh, oh. that is pretty cool. Thank you, being rejected. <laughs> It, it's crazy. I'm being rejected again. Oh man, that sounds so difficult. I really thought you were going to get the job this time as the, the head su superhero of yeah. the justice organization. But yeah, this is my 99th rejection. Man, look, as your sidekick, this, this is painful for me too. You know, like I, I, I also wanted to be out there. But, but you're famous and I'm not. I know, it's, you know, it's getting kind of awkward because I feel like uh, usually the sidekick is the lesser known one, but in this case, like, you know, my crime fighting, I have to be honest, it's been going really well. And now I'm getting, a lot of times when we're on the street, I'm getting recognized more often than you. And uh, am, I gonna have to, am I going to have to become your sidekick? I mean, I never thought of that before, but I mean, I, I wouldn't, I didn't even want to bring this up, but I guess if, yeah, I mean, if, if you'd be comfortable with that, maybe, maybe that's, a good idea. You know, maybe it's the best thing for me because I cannot take rejection. Yeah, and I, well, you know, I have to be honest, I think in the superhero business, there is a lot of rejection, like you're getting rejected by super villains, you're getting rejected by the police who think you're breaking the law by being a vigilante and it's in their jurisdiction. Like, it's a lot yeah, to deal with. I just, I can't handle it. So. I'm going to let you have the fame. Really? And just, yeah, and I'm just going to take the back seat. Wow. Does that work? Oh, my gosh. I never thought this day would come. Well, it, it's your day. Oh, my. this is amazing. I, I just, this is so much to take in. This I've is all, your uh, day. Yeah, let it be your best day. You can step right in and take my place. Wow. Amazing. Oh, yes, I always thought I'd be a sidekick. But now, it looks like I'm becoming something more, and I just hope I can live up to it. I think you can live up to it. Stand up and take your place. Okay, you know, I'm not used to the limelight but I'll try to put a, on a brave face. You will be the very best that you can be. You can take my place and I'll let it be. You were the nicest superhero I could work with. You'd never had an ego and no. now that oh <laughs> no ego here it's all about you it's Sweet. all yours Sweet. <laughs> you may have caught us off guard this time, Super Penguin, but well, we'll be back. We'll be back, and next time we'll take you down. <laughs> curses. You will, you will take me down. You will give me curses. <laughs> Join my team. And you let's. Yeah, join my team. You'd let a couple of super villains like us join the hero squad? Yes. Wait, are there <laughs> benefits? 
Oh, there are many benefits. You'll feel cold, cold hearted. <laughs> All right. Do we get leggings with this? Yes. Leggings. Hey, I, I've been trying to get leggings from the from the evil guild for a while now. Oh my God, <laughs> we, we would look so good in leggings. Do you have a 401k? Sometimes, but it depends on the situation. I don't know. I think I'm going to go for this. What yeah, is this? this sounds like a great deal. I think we should go for this. This is our opportunity. I've always wanted to be a villain, you see. Well, we've got, we've met that dream because we are a villain team, but now we got this chance to get more money. Being villain is so nice. Heather B is for victory. I is for intricacy. Love, love, animal insight. Nerds. Villains are nerds. They don't know that we are nerds. If you join my team, you will be the best villains. I'm gonna go for this. No, oh, come. You and me should do it. We'll be the best evilest villains in the <laughs> world. And solo. back again yeah you know i've got to be honest this is this is a lot more pressure than i realized being the main superhero uh, i just heard there's like a super evil penguin out there yeah the penguins are after you that's really why i gave you the new position oh man. I, did, I didn't want to deal with those penguins yeah i see what you mean like when i was younger i always thought the superhero role would be like all a lot of fun but it's it's pretty stressful dealing with all these these villains and my taxes are a lot more complicated now too. I have to write off all of my, and it, my and uh, stuff. And it seems like you're always traveling. Yeah, well, you know me. Can't my, stand it, still, can you? Yeah, that's, that's kind of my curse. <laughs> uh, the curse of my powers is they only work <laughs> if I'm walking. Tell me about it. I will, yeah. As superheroes, we all have a weakness. Kryptonite or something else. My weakness is I only have superpowers if I'm walking around. I can see your superpowers as you're walking around. Oh, as your feet hits the ground, you don't make any sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're superheroes with weaknesses too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're superheroes with weaknesses too. Sometimes I wish I could just use powers while I was sitting in a chair. When I get knocked to the ground, I don't have anything to do to f stop the muggers or people. Just remember, 
You have superpowers. You can use them as you choose. At any hour, use your power. Use your powers. Use your powers as you walk around. Right. You know, sometimes I almost think it would be better to not have powers at all. Sure, I could not be as strong, but I could at least take a break once in a while. But then I think, oh yes. Well, that's what happens when you took my place. You have to do everything. Yeah, 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 we're superheroes, but we have weaknesses too. Yeah, 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 we're superheroes, but we have weaknesses too. Don't admit to the weaknesses, just be you. You. Sweet. All right, super villains, I have discovered the powers of Captain Walking. <laughs> At last. <laughs> yes, it turns out if he stops walking at any time, he is powerless. And you, Super Penguin, you've convinced those weaker villains to join us as well. <laughs> Our eyes are ready. We will put on the road so that he won't be able to walk. <laughs> and then we shall put some chairs and benches down in all the parks so he is just convinced to stop for a moment and sit down powerless. <laughs> oh, Super Penguin, you and I have a great future together. We do? We do. I'm fire your ice. Together we're unstoppable. I don't go, but my heart melts because of your fire. <laughs> you may say that I'm a hothead, <laughs> and that's I tend to strike too fast. But with you, I see the benefits of slowing down. I want to make this last. Let's waddle together. Here they are, right now. I will protect the superheroes. <laughs> it's a super penguin. We must try to stop. Oh no, I'm slipping. Oh. Uh, slipping oh, no, on the wait. ice. And Just where's my other accomplice? My powers aren't working. Get here, take oh, mine. You've got to have mine. Take my powers. Take my power. Really? What? You may, s- you may try to stop us by sharing your powers, but we can do a power sharing too. Yes, we share our powers. Fire and ice. Fire and ice together. Makes it real nice. Well, oh, your yeah, ice. need to be messing with us because we know how to handle you we do that's right we're just gonna put the ice 
back on them. Yeah. Because what you may not have noticed is that your fire and ice might harm each other. And you will cancel and you will cancel each other out. Yeah. For sure. Magic. It's working. Okay. They're turning into normal penguins instead of super penguins. That's right. Turn me into Look. a penguin. With super no penguin. Sh- Look. Would you like to wall across the ice and maybe lay an egg that I can hold on my feet for a while? Let's you know, shoot. maybe we we don't have to be sidekicks and heroes. Anymore. We can just be a team. We're such a good team. That's right. We just took out the super penguins together. We can just be a duo with no That's right. specific statuses. That's right. And I think that's the best thing for us. Oh, I Ooh. Duo. Duo comes true. Comes true. Oh, a fish. Ding. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> penguins. Where's my turn, my camera? Penguins. 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 <laughs> penguins. penguins. <laughs> Space penguins and super penguins. I was Woo! thank you, Andy. I uh, <laughs> always love the filters and uh, thank you. Uh, so before we get to our final uh, our headliner team for the night, uh, now is the time where if, if you have anything that you would like to promote, please pop up on screen and and uh, I'll let you a moment. Jacob, walking around. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I, uh, Yes, I have a stand-up comedy special for you on YouTube called Unemotional Roller Coaster. And there's an audio version uh, version on like audio streaming platforms like Spotify and Pandora and things like that for free. So yeah. Excellent. Uh, could I, I'm guessing you probably can't post a link right now while you're walking, but could you put that in the inner city group when you get a chance to? Oh yeah, to- yeah. Yeah, they might be able to post it in the chat too. Or if someone could find it here or yeah, just put it in there so we can find it. Cause uh, yeah, I'd love to check that out. Thank Sounds you. Sounds good. Thank you. Anyone else? Michael Workowski. Hey, thank you, Brian. Uh, 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 I have two things. Uh, 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 I, along with another in, uh, the, uh, another improviser, Elise E. Ovino, started a lot more better improv expression a couple of months back. We do Blue Hema Jams Mondays and Saturdays, Grounded Teen Jams Tuesdays. We also do streaming shows, karaoke nights. So please like and follow a lot more better on Facebook if you have not. And I'm also in an improvised sitcom live from the asylum on Thursday nights with a bunch of other funny uh, 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 improvisers. So please um, uh, like and follow live from the asylum as well. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, and more Michaels. Michael Ostrowskis. Hi, I'd like to promote a podcast by somebody who is in fact named Michael. (laughs) Uh, the podcast is called Dr. Fix Me, put, put together by Michael Kim Lewis. Uh, it's an improvised panel show, Jerry Springer, Sally, Jesse, Raphael type. All the guests, all the advertisements, everything is completely improvised, and I'm occasionally a guest on it, so you can either deliberately listen to or deliberately avoid those episodes, but Dr. Fix Me, it's a fun podcast. Excellent. Thank you. Anyone? I have a couple things I figured I'll mention real quick, unless Faustino, Faustino, go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Faustino. Uh, Get out of the shop, mom. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Nice to um, we want, we want more of... Faustino's mom. Okay. Mom, 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 I forgot what my announcement was. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being part of the jam. And please, if you know any teams or if you know any other jammers, please spread the word out. Uh, it's uh we're we're trying to see what we're gonna do with the inner city after summer, but it starts with everybody here. First of all, um, thank everybody who's been a volunteer for the last few weeks. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. Um, we are going to be canceling the July Fourth Jam because it's an actual holiday day. Damn, that's so annoying. Uh, we're gonna cancel July Fourth uh, to celebrate the United States Independence Day. 
Um, and we'll keep announcing that in the next couple of weeks. So then we'll have the day off. It's just because that it's the uh, one holiday we can't really avoid. Um, so we're taking that off. Go ahead. And um, if you're in a place, if you're safe in your homes, if you're in the United States, go outside and watch, watch people's hands explode um, legally. Um, if not, then I think they'll be, we will continue on with the week after with our scheduled programming. And then also, again, if you know any teams that would like to uh, perform or, or volunteer and stuff, um, we are trying to kind of gather uh, everybody together as we look towards the future when inner city exists in a world where there's also live improv. So again, thank you so much for everything. And um, yeah, get ready to experience the set afterwards. Adam had a question, I think. Uh, yes. yes. Oh, 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 me and stereo. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to be on the uh, show tomorrow, your guys' show tomorrow. So if you want to come up with extra awkward questions for me, you now have a full day to get ready to uh, make me just stammer and say, oh, crap. Yeah, come to the open mic tomorrow uh, yeah. at 6 p.m. Pacific. Hooray! Hooray. Yay! Angel! Ah, hello, hello. Uh, so um, I'm also part of a group called Improfessionals, and so we do um, a, a half an hour performance every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, from 7 p.m. Eastern Time until 7.30, and it's on the Facebook page, Socially Decent Improv, if you, if you want to see it. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Uh for myself, uh, this Wednesday, if you happen to be in the Chicago suburbs area, I'm actually going to be in part of a live show out in Wheaton that uh, uh, Westside Improv is doing, a local bar there. I'm guessing most of you are not, but I know David Shapiro is going to come out, so I'm excited for that. Um, and then on Friday, they are going to be streaming a the video of a show that I was in this past Friday at the Field Museum where it was for work, and I talked about spam email through stand-up, and it was the first time I've really done stand-up like that. Uh, with, all, with other scientists from, from the lab and the university that we work with uh, talking about their things and they are much smarter than me for their sciencey things. So um, I will put a link in the chat for that. that is science riots, live, virtual events. So yeah, that should be fun. And oh, and I did Jay Sukow's uh, podcast or uh, 10 minutes with us last week. So that was fun. But anyway, enough about me. Uh, let's note, since no one else seems to be coming on, let's get to our headliners without further ado. Uh, you know this man from his many, many, many times being on this inter on this very same jam. Tonight he's doing a solo musical show. Uh, Nick Condon with Faustino Solis there with him being the on the keys. But Nick and Faustino, please come on screen. Woo! Oh, uh, they're called solitaire. Or Nick is called solitaire. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. Awesome. You absolutely nailed it. I'm hearing an echo. You gotta yeah, pick yeah, one speaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm not hearing an echo anymore. So that'll work for us. Great. Uh, so for those of you that are not familiar with Solitaire, uh, which is probably a lot of people, um, it's a, a, a one man improvised one act, uh, but it is two people today because it's gonna be a, a fully improvised musical. And uh, this will be the first time Faustino and I have ever done this online together in this virtual setting. So hopefully you all can hear me. I'm using my phone as a mic and we've got a couple other cameras set up uh, and we're gonna just do a brief sound check. So thanks for that. And maybe throw into the chat if you can hear the music. Uh, can, can you hear the music that Faustino is playing right now? Great. And is the blend uh, of my voice and the piano okay? It's, one's not over, but yes, I'm saying yes. Okay, great, cool, awesome. So, great, great mix. Uh, so what is gonna happen is a uh, improvised one act musical. We're gonna go about 20, 25 minutes or so. So uh, Brian, if you're cool at the time, that'd be great. Give us a little bit of a, a, a warning uh, when we're getting close, maybe five, two, two to five minutes in uh, to the ending. Um, and we're going to improvise a musical online that is hopefully going to be a, a multi-character narrative, uh, which is, gonna, is terrifying. So um, either by sharing your voice or by sharing something in the chat, what is something uh, that is terrifying to you? Clowns. Heart attacks. Clowns. Clowns and heart attacks and clowns is uh, 
what I heard. So we're going to take clowns and heart attacks and clowns. Uh, thank you so much. Whew. This is uh, this is solitaire. Look, I don't think I can go back in there. There are kids in there who want cake, who don't have cake. You know, people don't know what it's like to be a clown. And when you're a birthday clown, it's even worse. Every day is a party that you're not invited to. You just have to show up to this party, even if you don't want to. So I blow up balloons and I twist them and bend them and deep inside I am twisting and bending this seems never ending oh god why I'm a birthday clown Happy birthday Happy birthday Here's a poodle. Mom, 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 mom. Yes, dear. Yes, yes. What? Okay. Yes, yes. Mom, 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 mom. I was literally just this. I said yes. So what? What is it? What would you um? What would you like? Because. I'm here for that today, apparently. Um, so I just thought it would be great if um, after the party that we could also still have pizza because um, even though we're having pizza at my party, like just pizza is my favorite and my friends, like they just wanna sleep over and just eat pizza and sleep and play video games. And oh, you're just listing a series of things now. And that's, um, that's, that's fine. Uh, dear, and I'm going to get you, uh, remember, we, we have the, the clown uh, showing up. To, oh, oh, and mom, 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 literally, I, I'm right here. You don't need to say, mom's not even my name. It's Bernice, but it, that's <laughs> not, neither here nor mom, mom, Bernice. <laughs> yes, you remembered my name and that's, that's, I'm proud of you, but just, just, if you could just tell me what it is that you feel like you need. Wow. That seems like a loaded question. I don't really know how to answer that. I mean, Wow, I want so much out of life. I want to be an astronaut. It's, it's astronaut, but that's fine. Look, you can be whatever you want to be. You're a young man, a boy, but soon you will be a man. And I have all the hopes and dreams for you to be what you want to be. I want to be a sailor, an astronaut sailor, <laughs> on a boat in the ocean on the moon. And then I want to be a pirate in a pirate ship boat on the moon that is also a spaceship. Dear and then son, when that 
pirate ship spaceship boat burns. I also want to be a fireman that puts out that boat while it's on fire. With the water from the moon ocean that used to be frozen and now it is not frozen because of the burning and ironically it saves the boat that is now burning. You are gifted. You're clearly a gifted child. And I have no idea to do anything with those gifts. So I'd like for you to have your party now. Here's your birthday clown. So where's this kid? Where's this kid? Oh, um, he he's um he's in the next room, uh, fantasizing about uh being on uh moon boats. Sorry, I just heard an echo from literally everywhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, no, it'd be great if you could uh, entertain him and his uh, far too many friends. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just point me in the direction of... Uh, I should have put this out before I came here. That's uh, uncomfortable for mostly me. Uh, look, you know what? I don't, I don't care if you smoke while you're making balloon animals or face painting them, whatever. I am terrified, frankly. There are children running around my kitchen and I have not locked the cabinets. Look, that, uh, yeah, that sounds scary. Um, it is, I didn't realize that like a five year old birthday party would be so scary. I had a dream that this would be so sweet. Kids would come in and they'd all eat, grab their treats. They'd grab a grab bag full of treats and little plastic toys. But now I'm here in three hours deep and I'm just saying, oh boy. This is not what I expected. This clearly has gone wrong. This is not what I expected. I feel neglected. It's going wrong. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening to me? Because parties are supposed to be fun and I'm not having fun. Can't you see? Whoa, all right. Look, I don't like to be touched, at least not for this cash. If you want that kind of thing, I'm going to have to ask more. Just chill out and I'll entertain them. I'm going to need you to refrain then from touching me or asking me for more. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You're not the first. This is clearly not the worst. I've seen many worse parties than this. I could regale you in tales of terror. I could impale you with emotions, but I won't. For now, I'll go to the party. Oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you, um, I'm just so eternally grateful and thank you. Mom!
Mom. Yes, dear. Uh, it's so great. The, the clown is uh, here and uh, ready to enter, entertain. And um, we're, we're very happy to have him here. Mom. Thank you. All right, so um, cool. Uh, I am uh, Cheetos the Clown. Uh, the name is copyrighted, but I'm not worried about that. So uh, great. Uh, who has a favorite animal? I'm gonna go with the, the birthday boy uh, who is very clearly Excited um, uh, by, I'm sure, what is not a creepy animal at all. My favorite animal. comes from the underneath. I was wrong. <laughs> My favorite animal is quite unique. It's part demon and part dog. It has two faces. And is very strong. You could try to pen him or keep him on a leash, but it would be futile. You could wrangle him in and try to pet him ever so subtle. My favorite animal is often violent, but he is a sweetheart at heart. Look, um, uh, I don't normally do this, but um, I think I need to cancel this gig because <laughs> um, you, you're, you're, I'm gonna be honest with you. Your child is clearly the the most disturbing child I have ever met in my life. So, it's not just me. I, <laughs> I, I thought, you know, like, I just wanted to, you know, say that, like, yay, happy birthday party, but listen, hey, you know what, I'm going to just, I'm going to go, so uh, please don't go. I'm scared and I've worked at a lot of parties I come prepared but this is not what I'm used to understand I've been working parties for kids for 20 years and nothing up to this point has broken my heart or given me fear at least 
not in this way. I hope you're okay. But I gotta go. Take me with you. Look, I'm I'm a birthday clown. I I have not a lot of um, hope for the future. You have more than I do. Mom, 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 mom. That's what I mean. It feels as that that's the only answer. The only question I have to answer is mom, 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 mom. Why don't you answer me? I just keep saying your name. Mom, mom, mom. Even though I know your name, is it mom? Mom. See, that's what I mean. And it's just, he's very sweet in his own way, but I just, I think this party parties are supposed to be fun and, and for, for kids and I'm kind of terrified. You and me both. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna make us a horse out of balloons. And then you and I will soon ride off on that horse made of balloons into the sunset. It's gonna be a bouncy ride because balloons are kind of bouncy. It's gonna be a bouncy ride because that's how balloons work. But you and I could ride off into the sunset on a horse made of balloons. I may have spoke too soon. You're clearly, albeit maybe mildly, delusional. And between you and him, actually kind of a hard choice to make but I think I'll choose him mom mom yes yes sweetie I think I think the clown you hired might not be a great idea because he's kind of scary and like not scary like you know clowns are scary and everyone's scared of clowns just a little bit but like scary in a way that's like definitely don't hire that clown you're right I'm sorry but I hired that clown for your birthday. And I'm sorry if in any way this day felt like the worst day. You're only five, I'm six, but you're still alive and have passion and creativity that I want to encourage. And I hope you gain the courage to be who you want to be. I'm just me. I don't know how to be 
anything but just me. I love you, sweetie. Thank you. That is solitaire. We'll, we'll end right there. Oh man, that was the most, you know, on the keys right over here. Oh my god. Oh, the keys. Oh, right. Look at that beautiful man. Yes! Oh, is oh, mom still there too? Because we gotta love mom. You know, but... Oh yeah, let's uh Faustino's <laughs> mom! <Woo>! Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That was intense. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. So, uh, Nick, if people want to see more of, of your solo work, I know, in, or I know they can see you here every almost every week. But if you want to find you elsewhere on the internet, where can we find you there? Uh, sure, you can check us. I uh, got to do a media thing here. Um, you, you can uh, see me. Uh, go to nancyboys.live, which is actually my duo show with my husband. Um, we do fully improvised Hardy Boy style mysteries, uh, or you can come to Amsterdam in about a month. Uh, because I'm bringing Solitaire uh, to the Boom Chicago Comedy Festival, and oh, wow. you can uh, check that out as well. Um, or uh, if you ever make it to Curious Comedy, uh, we're opening up very soon, and you can check us out here. So thank cool. you so much. Yeah, thank. That was exhausting. Well, make make sure when you're in Anthony, <laughs> I Stacy for me because I I miss her and, and Matt as well. Um, yeah, sorry, Alex is in the chat. Just no, I have time for the show to end. But you're here for the line game. And for that, I believe we're going to have... Oh, actually, I realized I forgot to do something earlier. Um, uh, volunteers. We cannot run this show without our volunteers. So if everyone who's volunteered tonight wants to come on real quick and just say hi, everyone say yay for your volunteers. Hey. Yay! Hey. Hey. Thank you! Thank, Thank you! Thank you. Oh, and actually, before we get the line game, let me just real quick share who's coming as our uh, per- featured team next week. Will be. Oh, uh, I had to kill your sound scare or your sound scare. Wow, sound share, Fausti. No, is that okay? You... Or all right, uh, leftovers a la mode. <gasps> We came from across the United States. They'll be joining us uh, next week. Uh, we'll be, I think, one or two more before we have our, our July 4th break. But um, yes, please come back same time next week. Uh, you can see, you know, I know Michael uh, is one of our regular MDs. Taz or Taz is here quite, quite a few things. And uh, I'm sure you might recognize some of their faces and things. So yes, please come back and watch Leftovers a la mode. But now I'm going to turn over to Faustino for our final line game before we close things out for the evening. Boo, look at my chest. Wait, we're hold on. Uh, let me turn this up. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Faustino, and this is the line game. We're gonna call all of the Nicks because <laughs> not wait, is Nick's this when Nick's like a Nick on your shoe is the same as like Nick Nicholas, the name? I don't remember. Anyways, we're gonna do a line game based off of the fact that Nick's is a bunch of uh, multi-cam for his set. So, for example, uh, if we have just a banana, then we're just going to do uh, kind of like a name of a set come, all oh, the bananas, what appealing! Or all the bananas, oh, they're all rotten to the core. Uh, just whatever our plan is inspired by, just having a bunch of things all in the same room. So to get us started, um, bananas are rotten fruit, and I ate a bowl of chili. What's something that warms you up at night? I should maybe get a different one. An electric blanket. Vengeance. Vengeance. What? Let's go to electric blanket. Let's go to electric blanket. Aww. Um, if you have an, uh, we'll, we'll go with vengeance later. So, um, if you have uh, a pun for all of the electric blankets, uh, they come up on screen. I'll call you up one at a time and deliver your pun. And if you got a good one, maybe we can use it to get out of this line game. So, step right up. All of the, all of the electric blankets, they're out of this world. Very little toaster. Kevin Wilcox from New York. Let's let's remember the show. All the electric blankets. Its run was short, but shocking. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know what type of electric blankets you're using to toast yourself. Brian Subby from Wheaton, Illinois. Yeah, all these electric blankets are a lot like bread because they're real toasty. 
Aww. I love the brave little toaster goes to Mars. Michael Strauss with San Bruno, California. All these electric blankets. What a thing to have. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because what? It's like, okay. Uh, Tanya, also from California. Um, let's see. I love electric bank, uh, blankets. Burn, baby, burn. Uh, let's disinfect that uh, electric blanket after we're using it. Uh, speaking, of, <laughs> um, speaking of in infections, uh, what is a, oh gosh, what is, is that terrible? Uh, what is a, le a living, breathing organism that's not an infectious disease? I just broke a rule by saying that. You know what I meant? What is an what's a thing that's alive that's not necessarily an animal? A rose. A sea sponge. A rose. Ah, oh, sea sponge. But we're going with rose. Uh, a bunch of roses because I I am a rose by you. Angel, what do you got for rose? <laughs> oh, a bunch of roses because you deserve this perfume. Ooh. Something into the ether. Mindy Valentine from a place. In the center of California, quit putting roses in food. It tastes like soap. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Depends on oh the food. Goodness, yes. Cleanly and delicious. Uh, I believe it's good with chicken. <laughs> uh, stuff right up for a bunch of roses. <laughs> Michael. All these roses. I'm feeling a little thorny. Ooh, yes. Ooh, we're pushing <laughs> buttons <laughs> now. Yes. Okay. Oh, Karen. Karen, 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 Karen. All right, fine. No. Uh, Kevin, Kevin again. Watch up. Bunch of roses. It's hip. <laughs> is, um, is, I think it's a Golden Girls reference. Uh, the whale, who is muted. What has arisen here? No. Oh, what arose? <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> okay. I'm sorry, because we just had a, a syntax. Is it a semantic joke or a syntax joke? Yes. Semantics. Or a semantics joke. Laura is going to give us a suggestion of something that has a weird semantic. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh Anti-disciplinary <laughs> anti establishmentism. What was that word? Anti-disciplinary establishmentarianism. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. We're going with that one. So if you got one, let's look far out. Brian Sebi from We Know Illinois. Oh, I got hit with an anti disestablishmentarianism. That was an onomatopoeia, and now I feel really super califragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one makes my head explode. What are also things that explode that are not lethal weapons related? Balloons. Balloons. We're going to look for an out for our line game using balloons. All of the balloons, because dogs. Jacob Williams on the walkie. Oh, there's so many uh, balloons and scissors in this nightclub. This place is popping. <laughs> all right. Uh, all of these balloons, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm feeling absolutely elastic. Woo! <laughs> balloons have elastic? I guess they're elastic. Yeah, 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 elastic. All the balloons looking for an out. We got, ooh, let's start off with Angel. All of the balloons, when you don't have enough air, just breathe it again. Woo! Um, for me personally, all of the balloons, because we make all the loons, uh, explode. I don't like loons, sorry. Uh, anyone from Canada, I hate loons. Loons are disgusting. Uh, Mindy from California. 99 red balloons. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, off into Kevin Wilcox. A bunch of balloons. Our ratings are going up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Looking for that out still, Tanya. Okay, there's way too many balloons. I swear to God, I'm so angry. I'm gonna pop. Ooh, except someone already used that joke. Oh, ah, they did. Brian. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I took all these balloons. I attached to my house, but then squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just distracted. Uh, Karen Tardiff. All oh, these balloons, I'm feeling a little high. <laughs> oh, uh, 
Uh, I guess we're going to end it there. Uh, um, you know, I, uh, let's crunch the most sense of topic. Anyways, that has been all of the next. Thank you so much, Brian. Take us out of here. Hey, thank you, everyone, for coming here. Before we go, we have one last thing we got to do, which is just get everybody on screen to do our our final group send off. Getting high, kind of pushing And it. wave to face. <laughs> Everyone's coming on. I guess see most of us. Almost everyone on there. Can someone take a screenshot? Alex Lee is a is a lightning connector. There he is. <laughs> everyone, this has been the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. Woo! Thank you for coming here. Next week we'll be back with more improv adventures and goodness. And well, I just screened went to the wrong screen when I was trying to take a screenshot. But yes. Good night, everyone, and thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs>